when I was nine years old, I was watching Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. We were not rich. We were middle class people. However, this moonwalk was so important to my parents and my uncles, they pulled their fun together to buy a TV. It was a small black and white TV, and um, the whole neighborhood come together. All the cousins, all the friends came together and watched Neil Armstrong walk, walking on the moon. And right there and then I said, this is what I want to do. I want to work on the space program. While the dream, my dream was want to be in the space program, in 1975, there's uh, Khmer Rouge took over Cambodia, closed all the schooling and killed all the educated people. My father was one of them. Um, also, most of my educated relative um, was taken and was killed. And half of the population of Cambodia was killed during that regime. So I thought my dream was shattered. I will never be an engineer or never be working on the space program. And then later in 1979, the opportunity came while they were fighting. So we managed to escape to Thailand. Then we applied to um, the U.S. government um, to come as a refugee because um, if we go back, we would be killed. When I got here to U.S., at first we tried to look for work. We couldn't get work. I passed the age to be in high school, so I went to adult school and tried to take the English classes. Eventually, our, one of our teachers at the adult school said, you ready to go to community college? And when I was there, I met a counselor who was a retired engineer, and he asked me, what do you want to do next? I said, well, I always want to work in the space program. And he said, well, why don't you try engineering? When I graduated, I was assigned to be a uh, manufacturing um, engineering assistant my first mission was Earth orbiting on the space shuttle. It's called Shuttle Imaging Radar C. While I was working on that, and then in 1994, the image showed that they found a temple, um, the ruined ancient temple, part of Angkor Wat um, in Cambodia. And this is the project I worked on. The drawing I touch and the heart words I touch, the drawing I read, and um, it's really exciting. I said, this is a piece of me. Um, I contributed. And it find my homeland um, ruin I didn't even know about. Nobody knew about it. It's really home away from home. It's, it's very heartwarming.